The story behind why this card is so expensive is insane. The Bunny Girl Mai Sakurajima Trial Deck SP. Gold stamped with the signature of her voice actor, Asami Seto. And yes, as of the date of making this video, a pristine BGS 10 has recently sold for $38,000. And not only that, a PSA 10 has just sold for $20,000 as well. In fact, it has been consistently selling higher and higher every time this card has sold for the last few years. Let's get into why this iconic card is so rare and expensive. So although I compare this card to the first edition base set Charizard, the My SP is not actually from the first English Weiss Wars set. The comparison I make is purely based on how iconic and recognisable this card is. Even people with no Weiss Wars knowledge still recognise this card. Because each set in Weiss Wars is based on a different series and IP, it doesn't always mean that the oldest set is the most expensive. But why is this card from only 5 years ago worth this much? So after a strange turn of events, this card became extremely rare. This card is a Trial Deck SP. So it's a card you're only supposed to be able to pull if you got lucky opening up the Trial Decks. However, there was a printing error. You could actually pull this Trial Deck SP from the main Bunny Girl Senpai booster boxes. It should never have even been in there. Now you may be wondering how that happened. While the Trial Deck My SP actually replaced an SP that was supposed to be present in the booster box. So every time someone opened a booster box and confusingly pulled the Trial Deck SP from it, it was actually replacing the slot for what should have been the Nodoka SP from the main booster box set. That meant when the set was released, the Nodoka SP literally did not even exist. It was never even printed. After some time, Bushy Road realised this error, so they made a public announcement and an offering. As you can see here, this was their official statement. To summarise this, due to the error, they offered anyone who had a My Trial Deck SP a trade. You send them your My SP and you will receive a copy of the Nodoka SP, which at the time no one even had because it never got printed. Not only that, but you got a free Bunny Girl My booster box as well. So this was the only way to get the Nodoka SP. And something of importance is that back then in 2018, collectors pretty much didn't exist in Y Schwarz. It was mainly bought by people playing the game. It was to be said that the Nodoka SP was actually a very playable card as well. So of course, pretty much everyone made this trade. Absolutely destroying the majority of the Trial Deck My SPs that were out there. Now it is to be assumed that the My SPs that were sent in were destroyed by Bushy Road, but there's no confirmation of this. It's probably pretty safe to assume this though, given this happened five years ago and we haven't seen lots of My SP Trial Deck cards surface. Now in terms of how rare this card actually is, last year I owned a copy of this card. I would bought it for several thousand dollars, I got it graded and it came back a BGS 9.5. And at that point in time, I was the only person in the UK that owned a graded copy of the Trial Deck My SP. Now I did say owned, and that is because unfortunately I did sell this card later down the line. Probably the worst TCG decision I have ever made, but it is what it is at this point. Other than my copy which left the UK anyway, at this point in time there is only one copy of an English My Trial Deck SP that I am aware of in the UK and that is a raw copy owned by someone who's been playing the TCG for years and owned this card way before it even became expensive and they simply have no desire to sell this card. I've actually recently picked up a Japanese copy of this card. Now it didn't have the same printing issue as the English copy so I know what you're thinking. Surely it's much more affordable, right? Well, it was a very popular show, and it's also very common for the Japanese copy of this card not to be in very good condition at all. You can quite easily find Japanese copies for sale, but quite often they are labelled as light 
played and have quite a bit of whitening and damage on them. That and the insane price of the English copy means anyone priced out of getting that English version of the card has to resort to the Japanese version. So anyone wanting that iconic and recognisable card art has to resort to the Japanese version which has also obviously been rising in price due to this. I've seen Japanese copies listed for several thousand US dollars for light played damaged copies of the card. So interestingly last year they released a new bunny girl set based on the film and when this came out they also went back and reprinted the original set. This is actually quite common in White Schwarz. If they are doing a follow up set or like a volume 2 of the same series the same IP it's a way for people who are newer to Y Schwarz that may have missed those first sets to be able to pick them up and enjoy it. However, they could not get the license for the voice actor's signatures for the English release. Not only that, but the trial deck was not included in this reprint. Again, this is also common for Y Schwarz. It's extremely rare for them to go back years to reprint an old trial deck. I don't think that has actually happened at this point. So therefore, this card and its artwork was not present in the reprint at all. Even if it was, the signature would not have been on the card. So I hope you found that information interesting or useful. I will be grading my Japanese copy that I've just picked up of this card. If you want to see what grade it gets, please subscribe to the channel and you'll see as soon as that video is uploaded. Personally, I think it's probably quite likely it's going to get a PSA 8, but I'm still quite hopeful that it may just get the PSA 9. If you have any questions though about the MySP, drop them down below in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.